going to be doing a total body strength and cardio workout, 45 minutes long, using just your body weight. You need nothing at home. You don't even need a mat if you don't have one. If you're comfortable getting to the floor without a mat, great. So if any of you guys are familiar with my muscles in motion class or my stay fit class, this is gonna be pretty similar to what you guys are used to. So low impact, nothing too crazy, but if you feel like you need to ramp it up, I will always give you some options. You can always add some weights with things that we're doing today, um, but like I said, if you don't have anything, you're gonna get a great workout in using just your own body weight. So let's get warmed up here. We're gonna take it into a march first. Nice, easy march. And we're gonna add some big shoulder rolls back. And bring them forward. So as always with our YouTube videos, um, we don't use any music, but you are always free to turn on whatever you'd like to keep you motivated throughout this workout today. Nice big arm circles back. Good, and take it to the front. Beautiful, then we're gonna march it out wide here, bringing those knees up. You got it, let's start to get warm here. Good, hold right there, we're gonna take it down to a squat, reach it up to the ceiling. Take some nice deep breaths up to the top. Very good. You got it. Three, two, good. We're gonna hold it down low, take those elbows up into a nice core twist. Side to side, tuck that belly button into the spine. Getting those legs, arms, core warmed up. Three, two, we're gonna add a punch, side to side. There you go, keep those arms nice and strong. Keep that strong core here as well. You got it. Three, two, good, give me a kick back with the pull. Heels to the glutes, squeeze those shoulders on that pull. Very nice. Three, two, bringing those high knees up to the front. Nice big pull, driving knee to the chest. Good. Three, two, Last one, taking it for quick squats here. Feet are shoulder width apart. Pumping those legs, pumping those arms. Awesome job. Keep pumping to the end. Good. Come on, last three, two, and relax. Awesome job. Grab a quick drink if you need. We're gonna get started. All right, so we have some add-ons happening today. So we're gonna just keep things moving throughout. You guys just follow along with me. We're gonna alternate between some lower body, upper body, cardio and core, all the good things. Starting with a squat series. Feet are shoulder width apart here. We're gonna take it down nice and slow. One, two, three, and up. Squeeze the glutes. Good. Coming down just as low as you feel comfortable. Remember to make sure those heels stay grounded. Keep that lifted chest open, shoulders back. Good. You wanna fight that resistance on the way down. Nice and controlled. Beautiful. There you go, last three, 
two. We're gonna keep that pace down slow. One, two, three, and up onto the toes for a calf raise. So give me that big calf raise to the top if you can. Bringing some calves into it. Good, good. Keep it slow to the bottom still. Nice controlled pace. Building that strength. Whoo, that away. Look at nice, you guys. Last three. Two. Good, ready? Let's take it into reverse. So we're going down quick, up slow. One, two, three. No calf raise here. Down quick, up slow. Good. Slow three count to the top. We are squeezing those glutes nice and strong. Keep that good form. Yes. Awesome work. Fight right here with me, you got it. Play around with your range of motion. See how low you can drop into that squat. Keeping those knees behind the toes. We want that good form wherever you're at. Last three. Two. Good, here we go, finisher. Take it down low. We're gonna alternate lifting one heel at a time. Back and forth, lift, lift. Good, so really try to keep down low in those legs. Those hips stay pressed back. Good. This is not as much fun as when you guys are with me, but I'm glad you're here today. I am very glad. Good job. Three, two, here we go, double time, both heels up and down together. Finish it. We finish this set nice and strong. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Good, good, see if you can sink down a little lower here. Let's push through, let's push through. Good work. That's it, that's it, come on. Three, two, Good, and up, shake it out. Woo, nice job, you guys. All right, in between our strength rounds, we have a one minute cardio round. So we're gonna start just like our warm up with those high knee pulls. One minute right here, driving the knee to chest, big reach to the ceiling, pull down nice and strong. So this is a standing crunch. So as you drive the knee in, Give me a little crunch forward with that belly button tucked in to the spine. Exhale on the crunch and take this at your own pace. Whatever you gotta do, just try to keep it moving. One minute. We're gonna get a good calorie burn today, keeping that heart rate up, staying warm, because it's getting cold here. We gotta keep warm. There you go, you guys. Come on, almost done. You got it. Last three, two, relax. Take a breather. Good work. Grab that drink if you need. Nice start. All right, keeping her moving. We're going right into some upper body. So we're gonna hit a lot of shoulders here. I want you to start by coming down just a little bit in the legs. Keep them wide. We're gonna take those arms straight out. Thumbs up to the ceiling. Going for that nice shoulder squeeze. So we're gonna open those arms. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Nice and strong. So do your best to keep your arms at shoulder height. If this gets to be too much, you can always lower down. This is gonna be less resistance than keeping those arms straight across from that chest. 
As your shoulders get tired, they're gonna to wanna to shrug to the ears. Make sure you keep them pressed down and relaxed. Just like that, big squeezes. Pinch those shoulder blades back there. We are firing up those back muscles and those shoulders. You guys know I like to work a lot of things at once. I like to make each move count. Good, good. Three, two, turn your palms up to the ceiling. We got little pulses. Straight up, so this is a little baby movement, but I want your arms to stay nice and strong. So really extend them out to the sides. Think about flexing your biceps and your triceps in the arms. Everything is squeezing strong. And we've got a strong core here too, right? We always keep it tight. Tuck that belly button in. Keep your glutes tight back there. Good job, we're pulsing, come on. Keep it up just like that. Whoo, yes. Three, two, we're making little baby figure eights with those arms now. So we basically bring the palms up, down, up, down. Reach those fingertips to the side walls. We really wanna lengthen the arms. This is where we make those muscles work. Feeling that burn? Good job. Good, good. Little baby figure eights. Again, if you need help, you can lower the arms, but if you can, challenge yourself to keep them right here at shoulder height. Keep reaching. You got it. Three, two, good. We're coming to bent position. Nice flat back. Back to that shoulder squeeze in our bent position now. So we squeeze those shoulder blades together. Keep that back nice and flat. Make sure your chin isn't tucked into your chest. We want a nice neutral neck. So come down to the center almost right before your palms touch each other. And then lift back up. Squeeze. Isn't it crazy? You can get some good work without any weights at all. We can be super effective at home. We got it. There you go, squeeze. Beautiful. Three, two, and relax. Nice job. Whoo, give those shoulders a stretch. Awesome, you guys. Very nice. Roll it out. Up next, we got that one minute cardio burst. So this time we're going into some low jacks. So we're gonna take it down low in the center, and then I want you to step out to the side, bring those arms up. All right, let's do it. Three, two, come on, right here. One minute on. See if you can give me that squat in the center. And step out. We're gonna keep those arms working, legs working as well. And getting that heart rate up. Awesome job. We can do it halfway. Again, at your own pace. Take a breather if you need to. If, there, if one minute is too long, shoot for 30 seconds. Good, good. Let's do it, you guys. Finish here, finish here. Three, two, relax. Awesome work. Woo, grab that drink. We're rolling. All right, back to some lower body. We're gonna hit some hips and thighs on this one. So, we come to a wide stance squat. Feet are just outside those shoulders. Turn your toes to a little diagonal. Just like we did on the first round of squats. Slow down. One, two, three, and up. Good. 
If you can, try to check your form in a mirror if you have one around. We want your knees to be tracking the toes. We want to make sure that they're not coming into the center as we squat. So on the way up, we still squeeze the glutes. Let's see if you can also think about squeezing your inner thighs as we come to standing. Dig those heels into the floor. Exhale up. Good. You got it. Three, two, good. Ready for an add-on? Normal pace here. We come down and then we're going to lift that right leg out to the side. As we lift, I want you to open those arms up nice and big. Squat and lift. Good. When you land your right foot down to the floor, try to land on the ball of your foot. Nice, quiet landing. Protecting the knee. Whoo, that away. Keep that leg straight on your lift. If this arm movement is too much, take it out. That's all right. Three, two, here we go. Just to standing now, we're gonna lift that right leg. All by itself, lift, tap. Try to control your lift. We don't want a fast kick. Nice and controlled, lift, lower. Gentle tap of those toes to the floor. Good. Try to give me a big lift every time. They're gonna get tired, I know. You got this. Nice. If you need to hang on to something here, you could always put a chair in front. Hang on to that chair if you need some help with that balance. Last three, two, good. Nice job. Quick shake. We gotta do that one more time. Over to the left side. Here we go, to that squat, stand lift. go. Deep breaths. This doesn't have to be fast. Control that pace. Keep that form. Make those muscles work. Whoo! Yes, yes. Keep opening those arms big if you can. Big squat to the center. You got it. I see you looking good today. Woo! Three, two, good. Ready, here we go. Just that leg lift. Nice and strong. Think about squeezing through that left glute as you lift. We want to fire everything up. Each rep counts here. Be intentional. Don't just go through those movements. Came here to work today. Woo! You're good. Stay with me here, team. You got it. Yes. That's it, that's it, come on. Almost there, you can do it. Woo! Three, two, relax. Shake it out, very good. Oh, I hope you felt that one, like I did. All right, you know what's up. We go right back to a minute cardio burst. We got punches on this one. 
So I'm gonna keep it low in the legs. Nice, strong arms, giving me some strong jabs, all right? One minute, ready, set, go. Right here, you should be a little forward in a crunch position with that belly button tucked in strong again. And again, remember, keeping those arms as strong as you can. Flexing those biceps, little jabs. Good. Keep it rolling, nice work. Woo! Take a break if you need. This is your workout today. Good, good. Come on, that's it. We are halfway, you guys. Pump, pump. Strong arms, strong arms. Keep it up. Don't lose that tight core. Woo! Last three, two, relax. Very good. Yes. Grab a drink. Oh yeah. There's a rocket. All right. We're back to some arms. So we're gonna get a little chest but focusing mostly on the tricep. So back of the arms, we like to work those, don't we? So our first move, we're gonna start back in our bent position right here. Bring your elbows high and tight on your side. We're gonna go for a kick back. So here you can always grab some weights if you want a little bit more. But this will be super effective as long as you're squeezing the back of the arm as you extend. Flex the back of the arm and extend. All right, keep your elbows high and tight on your side. Squeeze, squeeze. So here again, don't tuck your chin to your chest. You wanna look down and out a couple feet in front of you. Nice neutral spine and neck, good. Squeeze. Squeeze, stay with me just like that. Good, you guys. Woo! Keep that strong core. I'm gonna protect the back since we're in that bed position here. Whew. Nice and strong, very good. Keep it up for three, two, extend the arms, open your hands, palms come in together. We're trying to give ourselves a little high five behind the back. Good, so now we're picking up the pace. It's a little pulse. Try to keep your arms lifted back there if you can. You should feel the back of those arms starting to burn. Good work. Keep those strong arms. Keep trying to flex and squeeze the tricep. Nice and tight. You got it, you got it. Three, two, beautiful. Quick shake, we're coming down to the floor. So we're gonna get that tricep work here onto the ground. So we're gonna come to the knees, hands and knees, and we're gonna keep those hips up in the air as we lower ourselves down and back up. So we're gonna keep your elbows tucked in as much as you can. But again, like I said, keep your hips up. This is gonna help you come a little bit deeper into that tricep push-up. You can always do this on a wall. So basically like you're doing a wall push-up, but bring your hands in a little bit closer for that grip. So wherever you're at, you don't have to come to the floor here. Exhale on the press. Good job. That away, that away. Keep breathing. Almost there, you guys. Yes, yes. Three, two, last one. Down and hold it. Freeze right here. Freeze right here. That's it, that's it. Last little burner. Three, two, and up. Woo! Way to go. 
Shake it out. <laughs> nice job, you guys. Out away, up to our feet. Are you ready? Cardio burst. You know it. All right, we did some punches. Now we're gonna do some kicks to the front for one minute, giving me some kicks right here. Ready, set, go. Nice big kicks. Just try not to totally lock out your knee on the kick. You wanna keep them safe, right? You can kick down low if you're right here. That is awesome. Or if you're ready, you can take it up a little higher. So like I said, you can make this workout as hard as you want to. Take it where you're at. Nice job. Ooh, we're over halfway. Time flies, doesn't it? When you're having fun. Good, you guys. Let's go, push through. Yes. Last five. Woo! Three, two, relax. Good job. Take a breather, grab that drink. We're getting there. All right, so we're gonna be taking it back down to the floor. For this one, um, a lot of people like to roll up their mat a few times so that you have some cushion on the knees because we're gonna be on those knees for a little bit. Hopefully if you don't have a mat, you can be on some carpet or something soft. Um, you can always kneel on a pillow too if you have one of those for some cushion. So into some glute work along with a little core and hips. So on the hands and knees, we're gonna start on the right side first. I'm gonna have you bring that right knee to the right elbow and then we're gonna kick it straight out. So for this one, we're trying to reach your knee a little bit out towards the side, to the outside of that elbow, extend, in, and extend. Good. So we are gonna work that core as you extend your leg. Squeeze that right glute, pull back in. Very nice. Three, two, good. We're gonna go for a nice big lift, straight back. Up and down, keeping that leg nice and straight. Again, focus on that glute squeeze as we lift. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Good. Keep that nice flat back. Come on, looking nice. Three, two, take it up for a lift. Little pulses, we're gonna hold high. If you need to, take it down to the elbows. If that feels better, less pressure on the wrist. But now really try to elevate that leg, keep it high as we pulse. Good, good, don't let that leg drop. You got it, you got it. Pump it, pump it. Strong glue here. Three, two, hold, freeze it up. Freeze it up, freeze it up. Don't let it drop. Stay with me right here for three, two, and relax. Woo! Hey, nice job. We got it to the other side. I'm gonna flip around just so you guys can see me on this side as well. We gotta do that left side, same thing. So on the hands or the elbows, whatever you gotta do here, we're gonna bring that left knee to left elbow and extend. Good. Flat back. Again, this is a good one to do in front of a mirror if you can. 
making sure your spine is straight and that we're lifting your legs straight up. Sometimes if we're not looking, you can cheat a little bit and reach that leg towards the floor, which is okay. But sometimes we don't even realize you're doing it. So this gives you a little guide to make sure we're lifting every time. Good. You got it. Three, two, ready, straight lift. Up and down. Just a little tap of the toes to the floor. Or if you want a little challenge, you can stop before those toes touch and lift. Focus on squeezing through that left glute. Tight, 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 you got it. Ooh, yeah. Let's go, keep it up. Last three, two, take it to those elbows if you need here. We got those pulses. Lifting, lifting, keep it up there. Good job. Strong left glute here. You can do it, you can do it. Pulse with me, looking awesome. Three, two, up and hold, freeze it. Freeze, freeze, lift a little higher. Three, two, done. Yeah. Whoo. Take your time. Back up to your feet when you're ready. We got a little cardio. I'll give you guys a breather though. And myself. So this one, we're going to bring some core into it. This time we got a cross body crunch. So I want you to take fingertips to your temples and then we're going to rotate opposite elbow to opposite knee. All right? Are you ready? Give me thumbs up if you're ready. I see you. Here we go, one minute, ready? Go. Cross body, big crunch. Really try to rotate through that core. Nice. Drive that knee up and across. You guys, way to work. We're almost there. 15 to go. This is where we push, this is where we push. stretch. All right, you guys, we're going to finish back down to the floor one last time. We're going to hit a lot of things, glutes, hamstrings, and some good core work. So you guys just follow along. We're going to keep it rolling, okay? So we're going to start in your glute bridge, laying on your back. So do your best to bring your heels as close to under your knees as you can, lining them up. We're going to go up into a bridge, and I want you to just hold right here. Lifting your hips, squeezing your glutes together. We keep them nice and tight. If you want a little more, bring your arms to the ceiling so we have no help from those arms. Just letting those glutes, legs, core do the work. Good job. Keep squeezing. Lift your hips a little more. As they get fatigued, you're gonna see them start to drop. Pull them back up to the ceiling. 
Keep that belly button tucked in. Beautiful. Three, two, we're gonna go for a walk here. You can bring your arms back down. We're gonna walk it out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. With those legs. So play around with how far out you can walk your feet. Those heels are gonna tap out and in. Bringing some hamstring work into it. We're gonna lead with the same side here. So I'm taking my right leg out and in for three, two, good. Let's switch it up. Same thing to the left. Left goes out first, left comes in first. Keep those hips up if you can. Woo! Good work. Out, out, in, in. Good. Three, two. Bring it in and hold one more time. Up, hold it. Arms up if you can. Really lift those hips a little higher now. Squeeze the glutes. You're going to feel some work through the back. That's okay. We're strengthening those back muscles as well. Super important to keep that back strong. And strong glutes helps to protect the back. So that's why I really like to work those glutes. You got it. Three, two, relax. Bring it down. Nice job. All right, finisher. We go right into some core here. So I want you to start with a crunch pulse. We're gonna do a super set. We're gonna pulse and then we're gonna flip to plank. So try to reach your fingertips up to the knees. Drive your low back into the floor. Good, good. Nice neutral neck. You got it. Three, two, good. Flip right over right here. Quick transition. Give me a plank. Up we go. Elbows under the shoulders. If this is too much, take it down to one knee or down to both knees. Just try to keep your hips down in line with that spine. You don't want any butts up in the air. So wherever you're at, toes, one knee or two knees. Deep breaths. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your belly button in. Good, good. We're breathing, we're breathing, doing awesome. We got a 30 second hold, you guys. Push here, push here, three, two, take it down. Good, right over to your back again. This time, we're gonna bring some obliques. We're gonna tap those ankles side to side. Try to keep shoulders lifted here. Again, pressing low back to the floor. Doing good. That's it, that's it, come on. You guys, I see that finish line. Keep those shoulders lifted, stay breathing. You can do it. Three, two, last set for the day. Flip it over. High plank this time if you can, onto the hands. Hands are under the shoulders. If this is too much, back down to your elbows. You can always take it to your knees as well. Squeeze everything here for this last set. Your quads are tight, glutes are tight, belly button tucked in, arms are strong. Pull your shoulder blades down and back towards your back pockets. You can do it. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Are you feeling it yet? Ready to be done? You made it, you guys. Woo, come on. Let's push through now. Little extra burn, three, two, done. You made it, good work. Whoo, take a breather, grab a drink if you need to. We're gonna stretch it out together, down here on the floor. 
You earn this stretch. Way to go. All right. So when you're ready, we're gonna take your right leg out, reaching right hand to those right toes for that good hamstring stretch. Way to work today. Bring your left arm overhead. Should feel good stretch through that left side. We worked those obliques today. Awesome. Switch it up. Reaching for that left foot. Let's bring that right arm overhead. Feel that stretch through the right side. Grab those hands behind the back. Squeeze your shoulder blades, open the chest. Nice deep breath. So we'll take one arm across the chest for those shoulders. So if you haven't looked already, we've got lots of videos here on our YouTube channel for you guys and switch so that you can have some variety in your routine. That's really important. Um, we've got some yoga, Pilates, strength classes, cardio classes, core classes, foam rolling. We even have cycling if you have a bike at home. So make sure you check all those out. We're gonna cross right leg over the left, hug that knee to chest. Because keeping that variety in your routine is really important for your body to make sure that you're mixing it up once in a while. But of course, make sure you come back here, join me again for this class, and switch. Hug that knee to chest. Sit up nice and tall, looking over your shoulder. And to the other side. Back to center, we're gonna take one big inhale, reach up. And exhale, take it all the way down to the floor. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Hope you have a great day. Uh, make sure you comment. Let us know if there's any certain classes that you would like to see, and we'll do our best to get them on here for you. Thanks.